Whoa, blue sunsets on the red planet. What? Welcome to Space Out Thursdays. Here on IO2. So I'm Wacky Day Waffle. And I'm super cool Sandra Matos. I'm sure you're wondering why, where they are and we're not them, of course. Yeah, as you can probably tell. Uh, unfortunately, they're both sick and we have to fill in. So, uh, yeah, post production people in the house. Yeah. So, in the last video, you guys were asked Who's your favorite cast member of Geordie Shore? <laughs> Yikes. This is what you guys said, even though I don't think a lot of you knew. Thanks. What, what is that? Today's comment question is What's your favorite planet? Mine is Saturn, the crown jewel of the universe! For a lot of people, their favorite planet is actually Mars. And do we have some interesting pictures for all of you Mars lovers out there? Yeah, take a look at these pictures. They're blue for crying out loud. What kind of universe is this? Yes, the Curiosity rover has discovered and photographed that sunsets on Mars are actually blue. Why is that? It's all because of dust. <coughs> Dusty in here. <laughs> the dust particles on Mars are exactly the right size for blue light to penetrate the atmosphere. When the blue light scatters the dust, it stays closer to the direction of the sun. The direction of the sun than light of the other colors do. The blue color is close, but not exactly what we would see if, for example, we were living on Mars. What would we see? Actually, it would be bluer because the lens of the rover doesn't pick up as much blue as the human eye. Now that is cool. And that's not the only thing that's cool. Check this out. We are on a bold new frontier of space mining. NASA believes that we are mere decades away from serious extraterrestrial mining expeditions, specifically on the moon. Should this come to fruition, humanity would be able to seek out new resources to replace those that we ourselves are depleting, for example, minerals or even fresh water, specifically, for example, in lunar craters on the moon. However, according to scientists and regulators alike, it's going to take a lot of brain power to figure out the legalities and the technicalities of how we're all actually going to accomplish this. So I guess it's a good thing that we have lots of super smart people working on this at NASA. Well apparently not all people at NASA are smart. Take a look at this doofus right here. NASA astronaut Mark Kelly recently appeared on the game show Jeopardy. And during one of the questions all the contestants were shown a picture of a small planet and they all had to guess what this planet was called. Unfortunately the astronaut of this group didn't hit the buzzer in time. Kevin O'Leary who hit the buzzer first probably stated that the planet was Pluto. Uh wrong. And Mr. Dum Dum Mark Kelly quipped. That's what I would have said. Um, you call yourself an astronaut and you can't even guess what this moon is called? <laughs> You're kind of dumb. Uh, Liam, I'm pretty sure he was joking. Oh. Pretty sure. I'm a doofus. So that's it for this week's episode of Spaced Out Thursday. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to this channel right now, IO2. And don't forget to send us in your story suggestions and they might be featured in a future video. Yeah, send it to our Twitters. Yeah, our Twitters. Dave and Sandra's Twitters. Dave and Sandra's Twitters, send, send it there. Alright, thanks for watching and we're about to blast off.